Alrighty, so, um, first of all, I would like to apologize because, as you know now, I said that this video was going to release at the end of the week of two weeks ago, and, you know, that didn't happen, so, yeah, sorry for that, and, um, yeah, I'll try to do better, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, get on with the video, shall we? Alrighty, so as you can tell by the title, this is more of a basic blood effects. So, I'm really saying basic because I'm just hoping for the near future that I learn how to do uh, better blood effects. So, then I can maybe make a, an advanced tutorial. And so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, on to the actual tutorial. Okay, so to start off, what you want to do is add a muzzle flash image that has a black background. And then set the blunt to add. And then with a new plane layer, add a radial gradient effect. And with that, change the outer radius color to orange or yellow. Okay, so now on to the actual blood effects. Um, all I really did was I added a color difference key. I made sure the screen color was green. Uh, for the settings below, I put 0 0.13, 0 0.88, and 0.40. After I did all that, I added a spill removal. And, um... After I added a spill removal, I added a hue colorize effects. That way I can make the red and the blood pop out a little more. After I added that, I added a curves effect. That way I could actually edit the darkness and the lightness of uh, the blood. After I did that, I added a hue saturation and lightness effect. That way I actually was able to edit the highlights in the blood to make it match a little more in the scene. Now, if you pay more attention of the video when the dude gets popped, you might have seen a bullet hole on his face. So, the way I did that, I added a, a color difference key, I added a spill removal, and I uh, then uh, masked it to, to where it kind of was shaped in to like a circle, so it can match a bullet hole, how it should be. And so after that, I... All I did was track it into my character's face using keyframes. And so a way to do that is uh, you click on uh, the circles on transform. And so there you make a keyframe and then set move several frames after. And then go up top and there's another circle. And then you click on that and that's how you make a keyframe. And I just basically did that to track it to my character and uh, for some parts where the hand was kind of in front of it I just cut out the 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 wound on where the hand was was on so I didn't like look like it was on top of it and more under it which is how it was so yeah that's how you make a pretty decent blood effect see you later everyone <laughs> Have a great day.